Okay, so today I'm going to be testing the differences between the Sony 28 to 135F for OSS Sony lens versus the Sony 100mm 5.6T STF OSS lens advertised as 2.8F uh, lens. But um, yeah, we've got the 5.6 transition, which I'm not going to go into but I'm going to do a comparison between these lenses. I couldn't find this comparison online, so I thought it'd be useful to do this comparison. Maybe it's interesting to anyone that's interested in purchasing these lenses. Here we go. Okay, straight away I've noticed that if you move that ring from under a meter focal distance to uh, a meter to affinity, it stops the recording on the camera, which it will be a bit annoying if you're in a mid shoot and you want to change that it's going to, it's going to stop the recording so watch out for that here you have the minimum focal distance for the 100 millimeter lens okay so here we have the character lenses side by side we have the 28 to 135 at a focal length of 100, just so it's the same as the prime 100 millimeter lens. And uh, just, just to get a comparison, and straight away we can see that the Bacour is a lot nicer uh, from, the, from the 100 millimeter. It looks like that's actually a bit closer, but I assure you they are the same distance away. Okay, so what I'm doing here is moving the 28 to 135 millimeter lens to its maximum focal length of 135 millimeters just to get a close-up of that and then I'm going to compare it to the image we had of Wolverine where it where the camera was physically closer to the subject just to get a comparison what you can do with 100 mil is come closer to the subject which I think is a nice thing to do because it really makes the background nice and out of focus nice and smooth um, 100 mil is the Abukor King, and I think it's proving that slightly better, in my opinion. 